Oh. Uh, fit for TV? Yeah. Nice size community to grow up in. Plenty of things to do. He was kind of quiet, picky eater. He really wasn't hyper like he is now. If you would give him a box of matchbox cars, he would sit in the corner and just play with those. And pretty good kid. This is where all the magic happened back in the day. Every day of my life, if I wasn't at school, if I could ditch out of school, I wanted to come down here. Since I left, was it been 15 years ago, I don't think one thing has been moved or organized. My dad is a pack rat, like chains. He's got a shopping cart. Who knows where he stole it from, but he, he won't get rid of a chain. There's still dirt stuff, just in case I might have to come back and race dirt. Oh, motorcycle stands. We haven't raced motorcycles since we were 12 years old, but just in case we start back up, we have motorcycle stands on standby. There's weekly racers in the country that make their living regionally racing dirt cars. What he and I were doing and what our family was doing is was in the dirt late models. And I think that Clint truly kind of strived to be that guy. This was my corner back here. This is where we worked on the cars. This is actually the last modified, uh, you know, that I raced and I just kept it. I wanted to keep it exactly the way it was. Same tires, the engine that, that we raced that night. Um, looks like my dad gave somebody my seat. That's, that's awful nice of him. So many great memories of everything around here. Lion County Fairgrounds, y'all. Talladega has nothing on this. Look at those grandstands. One of the coolest things and the most redneck things, which is usually where you find the most fun, is the Demolition Derby. People on their feet to watch Billy Bob or Bubba in the Demolition Derby. I mean, that's, it doesn't get any better than that. Come back here to uh, to service. That was where I worked. You know, this is my world, working in a shop. This is my first sale ever. Clint Boyer sold this truck. <laughs> Work when I needed to, race when I needed to. A lot of people are like, hey man, you're gonna have to decide whether you wanna make a career rolling dance or racing cars. You know, the announcers and the radio stations are like, this kid's gonna make it, and damned if it didn't happen. They were right. <laughs> he says, you ain't gonna believe this. He said, Richard Childress just called. And I said, no, yeah, you're right, I don't believe it. I think he more thought one of us was playing a prank on him or something, he couldn't believe it. Standing in the middle of a body shop and, and, and Richard Childress calls and you know offers you a job, that, that just doesn't happen, especially in, in Poirier, Kansas, uh, and, and for me. <laughs> It's surreal. We're here to celebrate the grand opening of the Clint Boyer Autoplex. It's great to see someone come back to Emporia and support their town. Two, three. It's exciting, but it's still, it's hard to believe still. He's always blown away by the fact that anybody would stand in line to get his autograph. It's weird for me seeing him on TV, but you know, I don't look at him as other people do, I suppose. It's not, oh, there's Clint Boyer. I just think, look at that dork. You start to see the impact that you make in, in people's lives and a community and things like that, and, and that's when it gets exciting. Wedding receptions, a lot of different school functions here. There's so many farmers and ranchers and brand their name into the bar here, so these are all the cattle operators. 
Blake Shelton, we set him up a stage right here. He played an acoustical uh, performance. Pretty cool for a small town like this in Kansas. Towns this size and things like this in small town America, new is, is not always on the agenda. This is my first race car. It's kind of funny. This is this is how it all got started. The old Chevette. I took mailbox letters and stenciled uh, my own sponsors on it. That was that's some high class stuff right there. Every time I walk into a cup shop, I laugh um, because I I know where it came from. This turd right here, for lack of a better word to what those cup cars look like is just, it's incredible. It's, it, it, it humbles you every time you come back here. Coming back here, he's not Clint Boyer racer so much as he's just Clint. I think that being home and the, the type of people that you grow up with and more importantly, the people that, I don't know, raised you. That's how you try to be. He's always been the same. He ain't ever changed, ever. You know, I'm proud of the person that he's become, and a lot of it is because of racing. We're all proud of him, I and mean, the, whole, the whole town is. Everybody loves him around here. How much he cares about people and how much he likes to help and give back. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. How are you? Very good. See ya. I got a scholarship from him and helped me pretty much through all my tech college. So That's awesome. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I went from this shop to everybody's seen those cup shops, how nice they are. I mean, just immaculate. You know, so I come back here and I'm like, oh my God, look at this dump. But hey, man, I mean, this is reality. That, that is, that's not reality. That's La La Land. This is how I grew up, man. 